Devotion to the Agony of Jesus on the Mount of Olives Promises to Devotees of the Agony of Jesus on the Mount of Olives, as given to St. Pio from our Lord Jesus. Jesus speaks. Again and again calls of my love flow from my heart. They fill the souls in which the fire of love lights up and sometimes even sets ablaze the heart. It is this, the voice of my heart, which travels and also reaches those who do not want to hear me and who, themselves, do not notice me. However, inside of them I speak to all, and my voice will speak to all, because I love them all. He who knows the commandment of love is not surprised that I cannot help knocking at the door of those who resist me and who force me, so to speak, by their rejection, to repeat my loving invitation to them. Why, what else can my calls be, full of glowing love, than the will of love of a loving God? Who wants to save his creatures? However, I know very well that not many wish to follow my generous invitation, and that even the few who do accept must strive hard to receive me. Well then, I shall show ever more generosity, as if I had not been generous enough up to now, and I shall do this by giving all of you a precious gem of my love. I have decided to open a dam in order to let flow the torrent of my graces, which my heart can no longer hold back. Jesus speaks. Look what I have to offer you in return for a little love from you. To all those who remember my agony with love and devotion at least once a day, forgiveness of all sins and the certainty of salvation for their souls in the hour of their death. Total and everlasting repentance to those who will have a mass celebrated in honor of my agonizing suffering in the Garden of Gethsemane. Success in spiritual matters to all those who impress on others love and devotion to my agonies on the Mount of Olives. Finally, and in order to prove to you that I want to break open a dam of my heart so as to let flow a flood of my graces, I promise those who spread this devotion to my agony in the Garden of Gethsemane the following three graces. Total and final victory over the worst temptation to which they are subjected. Direct power to save poor souls from purgatory. Great enlightenment and strength to fulfill my will. All of these, my precious gifts, I will definitely give to those who carry out what I have said, and who, therefore, remember and venerate with love and sympathy my great incomprehensible agony on the Mount of Olives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Jesus, Agonizing on the Mount of Olives 
O Jesus, through the abundance of thy love, and in order to overcome our hard-heartedness, thou pourest out torrents of thy graces over those who reflect on thy most sacred sorrow in the garden of Gethsemane, and who spread devotion to thee. I pray thee, move my soul and my heart to think often, at least once a day, of thy most bitter agony in the garden of Gethsemane, in order to communicate with thee, and to be united with thee as closely as possible. O blessed Jesus, thou who carried the immense burden of our sins that night, and atoned for them fully, grant me the most perfect gift of complete repentant love over my numerous sins, for which thou didst sweat blood. O blessed Jesus, for the sake of thy most bitter struggle in the Garden of Gethsemane, grant me final victory over all temptations, especially over those to which I am most subject. O suffering Jesus, for the sake of thy inscrutable and indescribable agonies during that night of betrayal and of thy bitterest anguish of mind, enlighten me so that i may recognize and fulfill thy will grant that i may ponder continually on thy heart-wrenching struggle and on how thou didst emerge victoriously in order to fulfill not thy will but the will of thy father be thou blessed, O Jesus, for all thy sighs on that holy night, and for the tears which thou didst shed for us. Be thou blessed, O Jesus, for thy sweat of blood and the terrible agony which thou didst suffer lovingly in coldest abandonment and in inscrutable loneliness. Be thou blessed, O sweetest Jesus, filled with immeasurable bitterness, for the prayer which flowed in trembling agony from thy heart, so truly human and divine. Eternal Father, I offer thee all the past, present, and future masses together with the blood of Christ shed in agony in the garden of sorrow at Gethsemane. Most Holy Trinity, grant that the knowledge, and thereby the love, of the agony of Jesus on the Mount of Olives will spread throughout the whole world. Grant, O Jesus, that all who look lovingly at thee on the cross will also remember thy immense suffering on the Mount of Olives, that they will follow thy example, learn to pray devoutly, and fight victoriously, so that, one day, they may be able to glorify thee eternally in heaven. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.